Sabrina and Jason, less than a year after elected leaders gave themselves a raise, legislation is once again on the table to cut salary increases, once again, just for senators. The people have spoken, they continue to speak, they're not happy, they don't trust us, uh, and they're not on the winning end of this. They're on the losing end, and that is wrong. Senator Brian McCready has introduced Bill 201. The measure would exclude senators from the Competitive Wage Act of 2014 and reduce their salaries to $55,307. So in 2010, they gave themselves a raise to 60000 I think it was a $5,000 a year raise. And then they got another raise to eighty-five. dollars uh, So this goes all the way back. This isn't the first time Senator McCready has tried to bring Senator salaries back to the 2010 level. During his first term in 2013, he co-sponsored legislation with former Senator Michael Limtiaco. Bill 30-32 was discussed on session floor, but withdrawn after amendments were made to the bill, including making the cut voluntary instead of mandatory. Meanwhile, along with Bill 201, a companion measure, Bill 202, was introduced to allow the repayment of retroactive salary increases given to senators. The people, I believe, were shorted and they didn't win. And we have to, in the, in the spirit of, of us being public servants, we have to put the P back in public service. And, and that's, that's what this attempts to do. And uh, I think we wouldn't go all the way uh, and we wouldn't be complete if we didn't add the retro payments because a lot of people are more upset about the retro payments than they are about the rates. The retro pay for senators was estimated at around $400,000. McCready says he received about $14,000 in retro, some of which he used to start an educational foundation. Both bills follow a recent survey from Simon Sanchez High School on this very subject. More than 1,200 registered voters were surveyed with 76% saying they do not agree with racist senators passed. 26% meanwhile disagreed with the fact that it was paid retroactively. Is this a reaction? It's, it's a reaction to what I'm hearing, what I'm listening to, uh, when I go out in public, uh, what people are saying. McCready adds he did support the passage of the public law implementing the raises, but only because it was linked to raises for cabinet members. I do believe that, that some of the pay increases were justified for government officials. I've never been in support of the senators giving themselves a second pay raise, essentially. Uh, and I've never, been, I've never been for it then, I'm not for it now, and I won't be for it in the future. Uh, I would rather lose an election or quit office than to sit back and say nothing and the people be very upset at us giving ourselves a raise. Both Bills 201 and 202 have been referred to Senator Rory Respicio's Committee on Rules. A public hearing has been set for Tuesday, November 10th at 5 p.m. Bria Jason, back to you.